my assignment this morning, I, was, I thought I would do a, a part two from last week. Uh, for the youth, I might call it a remix. <laughs> but uh, I chose not to. I'll do part two some other time with Enoch who walked with God. I could have used this as part two. But I want to look at the 121st Psalm. The 121st Psalm. Do you have your tickets? Do you want to read with me? Shall I read it for you? Or do you want to stand and stand, stretch? All right, let us stand. And that 121st Psalm. And I just want to lift those two verses in that Psalm. You got it? Say amen. amen. Ready, set, read. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. Or I could say I will lift up my confidence. Unto the hills from whence cometh my help. But then he thought about it. And the response was, my help. Cometh from the Lord. Which made heaven and earth. From the words of the text, I will lift up mine eyes. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Hide me behind the cross that they might see less of me and more of thee and then none of me. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the blessed Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name we pray. And the redeemed and the believers of God will say amen, 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 and amen. Come on and give God a praise in the house. Praise because he woke you up this morning. Praise because he keep holding you steady and firm and strong. Amen. Amen. Ushers, if you have completed your task and your work this morning, you can take your seat. Amen. <clears throat> Some uh, scholars have referred to this psalm as a soldier's psalm. Uh, because they said it was as David was in the heat of battle. He remembered how God had kept him and sheltered him. And some say it was as David was running from Saul, running from Saul and how God had kept him then and, 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 and strengthened him and provided for him. Whatever it was written in at the time it was written and for whatever purpose it was written, I shall not try to appropriate the time nor the place. But let us this morning only repose or take comfort mm -hmm. 
in ourselves over the confidence that we hold in God. And repose in the fact that God is a God of sufficiency. Whatever it was written for and whenever it was written because the author or the David trusted God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The message summary that I pluck out of this text is that we need intimacy with God. We need more than an inconsistent, anemic devotional life. Did you hear what I said? It is a psalm that says, I will trust in the Lord. Solomon said, Trust in the Lord and lean not to thy own understanding. Amen. Trust in the Lord. Why trust? Trust is required when understanding is absent. Did you hear what I said? Trust is required when understanding is absent. Lord, I don't understand what's going on, but I will trust in you. I don't understand why I lost my job, but I'm going to trust in you. Amen. David understood that he had to learn to trust in God. You, you must not rely upon Creatures and instruments. Amen. But he lifted his eyes. Hallelujah. And troubles and burdens can cause you to look and feel down. Yeah. But David lifted his eyes above these things and means and other things that would pass away. Yeah. He said, my confidence is in God. God had proven himself sufficient. He didn't just lift his eyes because he, 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 he pondered whether God was able or not. He had already tried the Lord. For we hear David saying, in the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. I have all that I need. Could it be, or could we say how, uh, how David was saying how difficult it is for people to maintain success and still hold their spiritual commitment. Can we still be strong in the Lord after God bless us? Hmm. David knew that Israel didn't do, didn't do well they would get successful and they forget about God. Yeah. They would get in trouble. God would get them out. Uh -huh. yeah. They would get successful. Uh -huh. Forget about God. Yeah. Get in trouble. Yeah. God would get them out. Yeah. Get successful. Yeah. Forget about God. Yeah. 
get in trouble, yeah. God will get them out. Yeah. Does it sound familiar? Yeah. The reason why is because the spiritual immature The spiritual immature, sometimes it seems that we, if we are spiritual immature, (laughs) has to stay in crisis to stay committed. Did you hear what I said? Sometimes the spiritually immature has to stay in crisis in order to stay committed. Sometimes we have to go through something to keep praying. Because we forget about where it all came from. Do I have anybody go help me this morning? Yes, sir. When we are committed to God mm-hmm. and God continues to bless us, yeah. we have to learn how to evolve in order to stay committed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Are y'all with me? We have to learn how to evolve in order to continue our reliance upon God. Because we may say, well, the devil knows, Lord, well, 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 we have evolved past needing money. We have evolved past and needed a job. But you will never evolve past needing something for your mind. Are y'all going to help me here? Only God can give you peace that passes all understanding. And you can be as rich, you can be as blessed, you can be as uplifted materially as you want to be. But if you don't have the peace of God, oh, I wish I had a witness. You got to learn how to have the peace of God that passes all understanding. David understood this. And he understanding this, said, I will lift up my eyes to the hill from which cometh all my help. He remembered that the hills and the caves uh, was a place that was, he could hide from Saul when Saul was chasing him with his hunting party. Why was Saul chasing David? He was jealous. Can I stay here a minute? He was jealous. What is jealousy? I'm I'm, going to finish. Y'all, y'all. Which side can I talk to this morning? Y'all may not want this. I, I talk to this side. This, what, what, what is jealousy? Well, I thought about it. And this is Avery's definition. Jealousy is confused and mismanaged admiration. Can, can I talk to this side a little bit here? 
I said, jealousy is confused and mismanaged admiration. You know what jealousy is triggered by? It's triggered by your success. David thought Saul was his friend. But it was triggered by your success. When it's triggered, it's triggered because some people cannot handle your winning seasons. Oh, y'all didn't hear what I said. Some people cannot handle your winning seasons. <laughs> I'm going to holler a little bit, but I, I, I want to teach this morning. Uh, is that all right? Yeah. yeah. They, they can't handle it. Uh, <sighs> people are not jealous of what they don't admire. Did you hear what I said? People are not jealous of what they don't admire. They're confused because their pride won't let them admit their admiration. Their pride won't let them admit that they admire you. So since they can't admit that they admire you, they try to kill you. Or they may not try to physically kill you, but they'll try to kill your reputation kill your character. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm just teaching. I'm just talking to you. I, I, I'm going to move on from that. My help comes from the Lord which made heaven and earth. It makes my mind go to, and I'm, I'm, I'm closing, I'm closing out. You know. it, it makes my mind go think about when Paul was on a ship sailing to see Caesar. Paul told them that in the storm, the ship was going to go down. But we are not, he said. He said, keep your courage. The ship is going to be destroyed and go down, but not one of you will be lost. He said, the ship is going to go down. But you are not going to go down with the ship. I said, the ship is going to go down, but you are not going to go down with the ship. Y'all not hearing that, did you? I said, my help coming from the Lord. The ship may go down, but you are not going to go down with the ship. Somebody ought to give God praise in here that you have not gone down with the ship. It won't by your power, it won't by your might, it by the power of the Spirit of God, I, I'm still here. Well, I feel a little better now. I feel a little better now. It's important to remember. Listen, it's important that you remember that you are not what you own. 
Y'all, y'all missed it. I, I'm getting ready to come home, but it's important that you remember that you are not what you own. Did y'all get that? You are on the ship, but you are not the ship. I wish somebody would wake up and give God praise. You're on the job, but you are not the job. <laughs> Just because it go down, it does not mean that you go down because you got to go. Somebody ought to give God praise in the house right now. Everybody can go to hell, but don't mean you got to go to hell. I wish I had a witness. I may have to get you to come at home and, and close this out for me. But every time I think of the goodness of the Lord, can I get a witness? Every time I think where God has brought me from, my soul. Can I get a witness? Yes, yes. How many believe that this morning? God knows how to save you. He knows how to save you in spite of all your hellacious ways. He knows how to pick you up and turn you around. Don't he do it? He knows how to save you. Even if he, even if he has to let everything else fall to pieces, he can still hold you. Wrap his arms around you, embracing you. You don't know how you got where you are. You ought to say, thank you, Lord. I've got to close. I've got to get out of here. I, I've been here way too long. I've been here way too long, but I, every time I think how God has kept me, I, I, I got to wave my hands. Every time I think how God is holding me, I just got to stand up on my feet and look the devil in the eye and tell the devil, I get ready to say something, I, tell the devil, Go back to hell. I've got, I got a, two more points. Let me close. I've got two more points. Adrian, I may call you to hoop it out for me, okay? But I got two more points. Y'all sit down. I got a little bit more work to do. Is there anyone in here that can say, I ain't talking about lying church folk. I'm talking about folk who really to be real this morning. Is there anyone in here that can say, everything I've been on has not been perfect? You had something to break down, but you didn't. You had something to fall apart, but you didn't. You had some things you lost, some losses, but you didn't. So instead, let, 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 let me... So instead of complaining about something that fell apart, you ought to thank God that you held together. Do you hear what 
what I said. Thank God that you held together. Stop talking where other folks fell apart at. Take an inventory of yourself. See how God has kept you. Uh, see how God has embraced you. When everything was going apart, God still kept you together. So what if I told you that your help is not in the hills? Now how high you climb? Not, not, not because you got a name plate on your desk. That's your heel. Not, not how your bank account look. That's your heel. That your help is not in your heels. I wish I could holler this morning like I really want to. Paul can tell you, my help is not in the ships that I cling to. Some people can't make it unless they got their ship together. But if you got God, you can make it to shore on some planks. Did you hear what I said? When everything else is falling apart around you, God will keep you. Yeah, it will. I say they will. God will keep you in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on him. Now unto him, I'm closing, who is able to keep you from falling. Can I say it again? Now unto him, who is able to keep you from falling. I saw a man on television had a little, uh, I think it was a little girl and, and this dog got after this little girl, a little small chihuahua, got after this little girl and she was screaming and hollering uh, thought the dog was going to kill her and her daddy was standing out in the yard she went running and climbed up his leg like a, a, like a cat climbing a tree and the dog was still barking. And she looked back at the dog. And I don't know what she said, but I believe that she said, Now that unto him. <laughs> that is able to keep you from falling. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before I close, let me give you this. I got one more point. Y'all sit down one more minute. Then I, I'm going to close. I'm going to close. I am. I'm going to close. Then listen. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh, listen. Watch this now. I, I, I forgot this point because I, I just wrote it down this morning. The psalm reveals the spirit of David. His steadfast focus. I will lift up my eyes to the hill from which cometh all my help. My help coming from the Lord. Even while under the pursuit of King Saul, he realizes his help. It's still near. I would lift up my eyes to the hill. Suppose I told you 
that time, 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 time does not reveal your true strength. Seasons reveal your true strength. Let me explain that because some of you missed it. Time does not reveal your true strength, but seasons. This, did somebody get that? Let, 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 me try to, let me try to unwrap it. It doesn't matter how long you've been strong. How long you've been focused. How long you stayed in a straight and narrow. Are y'all with me? One season... One, one situation can orbit in your life and break you. Y'all missed it. Y'all actually, y'all, let me get this side because y'all, y'all don't go to sleep on me here. Y yes, okay, y'all don't go into anemic uh, disposition here. One season can orbit because you know the devil orbits. He said, I'm walking to and fro, seeking whom I may devour. So one season, one situation can orbit in your life and break you. So listen, so don't get too cute. Did you hear what I said? Look back here then, and I, 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 I'm going to cry to close. At Paul, after the ship was destroyed, and they entered upon an island, and they took wood and made fire to keep warm and to eat. Watch this, and then I'm going to close. Uh, Adrian, go close. Watch this. Uh, when the heat got hot, <laughs> when the heat, oh, I'm doing it better than y'all responding. I, <laughs> Hey, Avery's preaching. When the heat got hot, yes, sir. it drives out a snake. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. And the snake bites Paul. Paul shook it off. The snake was there all the while. Probably for a long time, 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 time. Oh, y'all, hey, I wish I had a church there. Listen, you missed your moment to shout right there. The snake was probably there for a long time. We've been in St. Matthew a long time. You've been a member a long time. Time. But the right heat brought it out. Uh, let me finish. Did you hear what I said? The heat brought it out. It did not show up until it got hot. It was okay during the cool seasons. Mm -mm -mm. You getting ready? 
But when it got hot, it came out. Y'all missed that. It was okay during the cool season. But when it got hot, it came out. It was okay during the cool season. When nobody was messing with it. When everybody was on his side. When everybody was talking well about it. It was okay during the cool season. When everything went its way, it was all right. But when it got hot. Mm, I wish I had somebody that know God is a way maker. I wish I had somebody that know the Lord can make a way out of nowhere. Listen, 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 listen. Can I conclude this with this summary? I found in myself, you have to find in yourself, I found in myself, and could it be there's a snake in all of us? Listen, I, I, I reference me first. Could it be and that the snake in people don't show up? until it get hot. Yeah. You want to do this? Let, let, me, let me close this out here. Sometimes you don't know what's in you Oh, you don't. Ain't no use you. Ain't no use you sitting there uh, looking at me like, like, uh, yeah, like Alice in Wonderland. You, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You don't know what's in you until the right season. You don't know what's in you until you get stressed out, until you get under pressure. Until the person say the wrong thing. Yeah. Until the wrong things happen. Yeah. Until something go on that, not, that don't, you don't think need to go on. And then that's that season. You may have been cool the whole while. But that season. Can I get a witness? So David says. Uh, uh, I will lift up my eyes. Unto the hill. I will lift up my eyes to the hill. Now I know sometimes my preaching has been at a point that it can be real, real stabbing and convicting. But that's what God gives me. He said, preach what's going to open your eyes. Do I have a witness? He said, lift up your eyes to the hill. Could it be a reminder to you that the snake cannot take your favor, but he sure can take your focus? Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. David said, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. We ought to give God glory. Do you know how to give God glory? I said, do you know how to give God glory? Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Can I get a witness? 
If I bless the Lord with my soul, I'm blessing him with everything that was in me. If I bless the Lord with my soul, I'm blessing him. If I bless him with my soul, my hand will start clapping. If I bless him with my soul, my feet will start jumping. If I bless him with my soul, my mouth will say hallelujah. Oh, yes. Ain't God all right? Is there anybody in the house that can give God praise this morning? Is there somebody in the house that know that God is a way maker? You ought not to sit there on your dairy air. You ought to give God a high five and tell God, thank you. You brought me a mighty long way. Thank you, Lord. Ain't God been good? Ain't God been a way maker? I'm going to have my cousin to close this out. Come on in here and give God some praise. The scripture said, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. Is there anybody here this morning with a made up mind to lift up your eyes unto the hills? Come hell or high order, trouble on your job, trouble in your home, trouble in your school. I will lift up mine eyes. I will call out to the Lord. I will call on his name. Trouble in my way. Sometimes I may have to cry. Sometimes I may have to pray. Sometimes I may have to moan. Sometimes I lay awake at night. But that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Because right. I know Jesus. I know Jesus. I know Jesus. Anybody know Jesus? Mary's baby. He's a wheel in the middle of a wheel. He's the bomb in Gilead. He's a rock of our salvation. He is a way maker. He is a miracle worker. He is my all in all. When I'm sick, he heals my body. When I'm down, he picks me up. Is there anybody here that can testify that God will? God will. Yes, he will. God bless you, St. Matthew. May the Lord God bless you. But before I go, let me encourage you one last time. Be not dismayed. Be not dismay. Be not dismay. Be not dismay. Whatever be tired. God will. God will. God will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Anybody here ever called on the Lord? Won't he do it? Anybody over here ever tried Jesus? Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. God will take care of you. Somebody ought to give God some praise. Say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. Come on and give God the praise. Yeah. Lift up your eyes. Unto the hills for which cometh your help. Won't God do it? Somebody ought to give him praise. He will. He will do it. Won't he do it? 